And now, an original TV Land presentation. From star studded Hollywood, California, it's Alf's Hit Talk Show. Tonight, Alf welcomes comedian Tom Green, actress Linda Blair, jazz great Jack Sheldon. are great. I haven't had this many people screaming at me since I cut off that bus full of nuns on the freeway. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Incidentally, I can't stress enough to you people the use of turn signals, all right? A lot of you don't use turn signals. And also, put down the cell phones while you're driving, all right? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless you're calling the guy you're about to rear end. Don't do it, all right? Now, I got that off my chest. Yeah, enough about that. We're here to do a TV show. I want to give you folks a break from that drivel that's out there on TV, you know? I think it is anyway, yeah. What are, what are some of the big shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm doing this. What are some of the big shows that are out there? There's a, that big show, CSI. CSI's a big show, yeah. Yeah, and now they went from CSI, they've got CSI Miami, and then they took it and they've got CSI New York, right? I figured out what CSI stands for. Copying same idea. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Fed up with it. I am. Yeah. Come on, give us a thank you. Yeah. Network programmers here. And I'm fed up with this reality TV, too. You folks fed up with that? Yeah. Yeah. The Apprentice? Huh? What is that all about, huh? What's the big deal? The winner gets to work for Donald Trump? I mean, come on. What they don't tell you is part of the job, the job description includes feeding and walking his hair three times a day. Man. This is, it's just getting too far, don't you think, Ed? I am convinced you could make reality TV about anything, all right? I'm going to make one up right now. I'm going to show you. Brian, put a camera on the audience. Here's my new show. It's a reality show called The Audience. <laughs> yeah. It's people clapping. It's, it's about a group of people that get together every once in a while and sit in an auditorium. Sometimes they just sit there and fidget. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Uh, will the blonde in the third row win the Marsha Brady lookalike contest? Or, hmm, or will the guy picking his nose realize everyone was watching him? Tune in. Tune in to find out what will the audience do. There it is, my new reality show, The Audience. And now, thank you, thank you. And how about a hand for the great Ed McMahon? Yeah. All right. This is All great. Right. We get to stay up late and everything. This oh, is great. This I'm is enjoying good. this. Yeah. You know, I put up a website. Are you computer savvy? You, uh, do you, not are you? much. Not no, much, I didn't no, think so. No. Do you have a computer? I have a computer. Yeah, you don't know how to work it, though. No. No. Is it an old one or new? No, I know how to work it. Yeah. I have a computer. But you're not, you're not on the internet. I have people around me. Yeah, I have yeah, people yeah. around me who well, know how to do it. When one achieves the stature of you, you know, they've, you've got, you don't need a computer. You've got people computing for you. I have yeah. people that do that. People yes. do that. Well, I put up a website because there's a lot of people out there on the, on the Internet. And, uh, you know, I want I to get in touch with the viewers so they could email me questions and comments about the show. And we got some interesting ones. I thought I'd share it with you. All right. We'd yeah. like to see them. We're going to do that right now. Yeah. 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 Roll that. Emails. Emails. <laughs> Emails. <laughs> Emails. <laughs> All right. One viewer 
writes, Alf, do you answer your own emails? No. <laughs> All right. All right, here's another one. Here's another one. Um, do you have any celebrity friends? Well, yeah, you know, I've, I've rubbed back hair with some of Hollywood's elite. I have. <laughs> you know, every Friday, me and George Clooney, you know this, yeah. and Condoleezza Rice, we get together for a little foam party at White Lotus. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been to a foam party, Ed? No, I have not, no. You know what they are? Well, I have an idea, sure. Yeah. I, I know about foam. Yeah. <laughs> and I know about parties. Well, there you go. It's, put it's, the two you of put them together, together, it's a foam party. Yeah, all yeah. of a sudden it's Wednesday. That's right. Yeah, though they fill the bar with soap suds and you get clean while you're dirty dancing. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll bring you next time we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got another e email here. Emo? Emo. <laughs> Dear Alf, what do you and Ed do after the show's over? Well, well oh, wait. What are you, ooing and eyeing here? What is this? <laughs> what kind of crowd is this? Man. Well, I, uh, I, I'm like Johnny. I usually leave after the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, I always assumed that Ed did too, but I found out recently that is not true. Nay. Nay, nay, nay. You don't know about this. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I want to tell you, there's a security camera running all the time in this studio ever, ever since someone stole my pocket watch. Yeah. A and security camera? Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm going to show you what we caught on camera. <laughs> look, look at this. See, Ed? Ed, the, the guy's cleaning up here. Look at this. Look at this. He's got your little nightcap there and a pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, take that last sip there. That'll help you sleep. There you go. Security camera. Look at Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, there he goes. Yeah, sleeps with his glasses on. So, got uh, anything to say for yourself about that? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I do. I yeah. got some relatives coming in. I wonder if we could get a big sectional. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll give you the week rate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a lot better. All right. Listen, I want to get, we got a lot of show for you tonight, so I want to get to my first guest. I have his book right here. Um, here in Hollywood, we have a lot of strange people. Yeah. And I want to tell you something. I find our first guest to be a very unusual life form here on Earth, uh, but a hilarious one nonetheless. He's the author of this new book, Hollywood Causes Cancer. Please welcome Tom Green. Yeah. This is ever cool. Apparently, you people have seen him before, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How you doing? Mr. Green. This is the first time we've met. It is. Yeah, it was. Publicly. Yeah, I, 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 of course, was a big fan of your show in the 80s, but it's really? exciting to finally meet you in person. Can I have a piece of popcorn? Please, it's poppycock. Thank you. Yeah. Pop we've, <laughs> it's okay. You can Poppy put that cock? in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going through your book uh -huh. and trying to find out what makes you tick. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you and I, you and I have uh, a common interest. Okay. You know, we like to play embarrassing pranks and stunts on people. That's true, yeah. yeah. You do? I didn't know you did. You, you, oh, you, on Melmac, yeah. I once hot glued my cousin Icky to a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, they're, uh, they're going steady now. They became very good friends. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So tell me, what, what are some of your favorite, favorite practical jokes? Well, I mean, uh, I write a lot about, uh, about some of the ones we did on our show uh, in the book. That's kind of why I decided to write a book. I thought it would be fun to tell some of the behind-the-scenes stories of things we used to do to my... Uh, we did a lot of stuff to my parents. Those poor parents. Yeah. Oh, I, man. I, we, we painted their house uh, plaid once when they went out of town. We, uh, That's we, a bad thing. We painted uh, pornography on their car once. Painted uh, pornography? Yeah, it was like an airbrush. You know, and like in the 1970s, they had vans and they had yeah. the, the airbrushing on them, sort of, of uh, naked ladies and things like this. Oh, my. They have that on, on Mel Mac, pornog pornography, no? Um, well, I've never owned a pornograph, but uh, I've had some pornographic <laughs> records. Yeah, yeah, 33 and a third, I think they were. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't mail those. Yeah. 
Hey, I, yeah. I was thinking now that you got your own talk show, yeah. Elf, I was thinking that maybe, you know, I don't know, are you dating anyone at the, at, at the currently? Um, I'm, not, I'm not proposing myself, but uh, I had some well, ideas. Technically, if you pay for it, is it called a date? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I am. But, but how's that? I mean. No, but no. How's it one of the problems. You? One of the problems I have is uh, these Earth women have something about not dating out of their species. Right. Well, most of them do. Well, a lot of them don't. I brought a. I brought a, a, a few Earth women that I thought maybe some of these do. I don't know. Is it low? I'll it? tell you what. Before you do that, we're okay. gonna have to take a small break. Oh, and okay. if you've got something to set me up ideas. with, I I'm all set, for it. I thought well, I'd set you up with a with a date, maybe. I'm with you on that. A Hollywood yeah. date. This could be the start of something big. We'll be right back with Tom Green and maybe a date for myself right after this. Yeah, I can't wait. I hope you got something for me in there. Yeah.